Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like everything you see and you stick around. I would love it if you subscribed and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this rope and mirror tray, whether it be for your end table, your dining room table, your ottoman, kind of serves as a catch-all. And for this purpose, I went ahead and partnered with Yod Watches. I do want to let you know that there's a $25 coupon code in the description box for any order valid through the course of the giveaway and mentioning giveaway. A winner is going to get $139 off of an order which includes free shipping and a free sizing. I gotta say I really love the packaging. I think this box is so beautiful and then I also like this little pillow that you can put your watch around and I was so excited to get this for my husband. And ladies, don't get discouraged because they have plenty of women's watches to choose from. Unless, of course, you want to be nice and get one for your husband. You can do that too. I'm going to post all the details down below, so make sure you pay close attention to what you have to do to enter the giveaway, okay? I don't really wear watches, so I thought I would order this one for my husband, which he chose himself. He really liked the detail on this face, and then also he liked that when he takes off the watch, it stops. So it doesn't run out of batteries, and he just shakes it around a little bit before he puts it back on, and it'll restart itself. I really thought that the detail of the wood grain is beautiful, and of course, like all the detail that you can see on the face, how you can see all the little different parts just moving around, I thought that's really cool. And it looks masculine, and I think it really goes with anything he wears, whether he dresses up or is just casual, but again, I really, really do like that attention to detail on the wood and the face. Again, you guys, make sure you don't miss out on this giveaway, okay? $139 off is a whole lot, and you're going to get a really good quality watch for not a lot of money. Details down below. Now let's get on to this video. You're going to start out by getting yourself six mirrors from the Dollar Tree. I would highly recommend the plain mirrors, but this was all they had at my store this time around. And then also two of these nautical rope bundles and some foam board. Of course, I do everything with foam board these days, I feel like. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my mirror and then I'm going to... Hi, Milani. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut some pieces of rope that are going to fit right in between the mirrors. If you can see right there, I'm going to leave a gap that's big enough for me to put put the rope right in between so after setting up my layout I went ahead and took a ruler and just marked where I'm gonna cut and then I took my exacto knife and just cut it all around After I cut my piece, I think this was like a 16 by 14. Honestly, I don't remember what size it is, but you guys will figure it out if you do do it. I went ahead and took my rope and I cut it in pieces. I didn't do one entire rope to glue around and you'll see why I did that. So I just took one piece. <laughs> You're gonna hear Milani in the background. At this point, I give up on that, okay? <laughs> She's more than welcome to join my videos. Anyways, just go ahead and take your rope put some hot glue and I use Gorilla hot glue and I will link it down below also if you're interested in the gun or the Gorilla hot glue. And so as you can see just put my glue all around and then put my pieces of rope down and press them so they could get glued very well. Oh geez I don't even know what I just said. Alright, so after all of that, I'm going to go ahead and take each of my mirrors. As you can see, I'm testing it, making sure that it all fits well with the rope. I'm going to take my glue, put it all over the back of the mirror and on the foam board, press it into that very first corner, and then I'm going to push it in towards the rope to make sure that it's in there snug. Once all of my mirrors are glued down, I will go ahead and start gluing my rope down as well. If you can see what I'm doing here is just kind of twisting the rope so that it becomes a little more loose because when it's really tight it leaves a little bit of a gap in between the mirrors and I don't want to see the foam board underneath so I just went ahead and twisted it or untwisted it to be a little bit loose. Milani Chan! All 
All right, so the next step here is to go ahead and take my rope and glue it all around the edge of that foam board so you don't see that raw edge. I am gonna double it up and then the next piece is gonna go on top of that and next to the first piece of rope that I glued down. Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut two pieces of rope to make my handles here. O M G. The struggle be real. <laughs> All right, so back to my handles. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right to that edge, and then I'm gonna glue the other pieces of rope right around it. And I don't know what happened to the clips of it, but you guys can kind of more or less see what I did there. And the final step for this is to just take another piece of rope and then glue it right in between the other two pieces. So if you can see, there's two pieces of rope all around, and then this one's gonna go right in between. Oh, I know you guys know the struggle that I have when I'm recording or doing anything so you guys are pretty much used to it I believe so if I didn't make any sense Please feel free to put any comments down below or questions or <laughs> concerns because right now. I don't even know what I said All right easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is the final result on this tray I really think I would have liked it a lot more if that gold trim was not around the mirrors But you know what? I think it still looks pretty fab and again like I mentioned you can use it as an end table tray on your ottoman on your dining room table on your kitchen counter Whatever it is. I hope that when you make it if you do make it you enjoy it as much as I did once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little thumbs up, and any comments down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!